Lazy Vim is one of the most feature-rich NeoVim distros out there, thanks to the Lazy Plugin Manager operating under its hood. Pre-configured with 55 essential plugins, Lazy Vim sets itself apart from other distributions. It includes powerful plugins like Flash and Lazy Git, making it stand out in the crowd. Now, let's explore how to install Lazy Vim and get started by configuring our first plugin, Twilight. Currently, I have installed the Astro Vim configuration on my system. Let's move the Astro Vim configuration to a safe place and delete the local packages. Then we'll install LazyVim by cloning the starter repository inside the NeoVim configuration directory. Finally, we will open NeoVim. As soon as we open NeoVim, all the plugins will be installed automatically by default. We can see that all plugins are loaded and working fine. LazyVim comes with the Mason plugin to manage language servers, linters, and code formatters. We can use the Mason install command to install any language server we want. Since we are going to edit a few Lua files, we need the Lua language server. If we hit enter now, we can see the language server being installed. Let's open the LazyVim configuration files and make some customizations. By default, the wrap option is disabled. To change this, we need to modify the options.lua file. Let's set the wrap option to true. Upon restarting LazyVim, we should see that wrap is enabled. Now let's try installing a new plugin. LazyVim provides a plugins directory for this purpose. We can create a new file for our plugin where we'll define a table specifying the plugin we want to install. One such plugin is Twilight, which highlights the portion of code we're currently editing while dimming the rest. Executing the lazy sync command will automatically install the Twilight plugin. We can test the features of this plugin by opening a Lua file. Here, we'll notice that only a small portion around the cursor is highlighted, while the remaining portion is dimmed down. LazyVim comes with a pre-configured Flash plugin that helps us jump to any word in the visible buffer. This is an efficient alternative to easy motion. We can trigger Flash by pressing the S key. This allows us to type the word we are looking for. Once the word is typed, we can see labels around every matched word. By typing the corresponding label, we can jump to that specific word. For example, to jump to the word defaults, we press the S key and type the initial few characters of the word default. This will bring up a label around the word default, and by typing T, we can jump to this word. Instead of overriding the S key, which stands for substitute, Flash could have been mapped with the leader plus the S key. The sidebar we see here is powered by the NeoTree plugin. We can toggle it using the leader and the E key. Typing a question mark brings up all the key bindings supported by NeoTree. Pressing the capital letter A creates a new folder, and pressing the lowercase, A creates a new file. Deleting a file is done by pressing the D key, and renaming it is done by pressing the R key. Pressing the S key opens the file in split mode. Pressing the M key allows us to move a file, and the C key allows us to copy a file. You can trigger the terminal inside LazyVim by typing the leader key, followed by the F and T commands. This opens the terminal in floating mode. However, there is currently no option to open the terminal in vertical or horizontal mode, like in other distributions. You would need to configure this yourself. Additionally, you can hide or show the terminal by pressing Ctrl and backslash. LazyVim comes with pre-configured LazyGit integration. To enable this feature, you must explicitly install LazyGit. LazyGit can be triggered by typing the leader key, followed by two consecutive presses of the G key. On the left side, there are five sections, and you can navigate to any section by pressing a key between one and five. The files section displays both staged and unstaged files, with their differences shown on the right side. The third section contains all branches, while the commit section displays all commits on the selected branch. I have created a dedicated video on LazyGit. You can check it out on the end screen. The Telescope plugin assists us in locating files and performing live grep searches within the current project. It can be triggered by typing the leader key followed by the space key. By entering the name of the desired file, Telescope will locate it for us.
Additionally, we can search for specific words within the project by typing the leader key followed by the backslash and entering the desired word, after which all files containing the given word will be displayed. To find a buffer from among too many open buffers, we can trigger telescope with the leader key followed by the FB key. This will enable us to select a buffer from the currently opened buffers. We can select the next buffer using Shift plus the L key and the previous buffer by typing Shift plus the H key. We can pin the currently selected buffer by typing the leader key followed by B and P key. Additionally, we can close the currently selected buffer by typing the leader key followed by B and D key. I believe LazyVim is one of the most feature-rich NeoVim configurations out there. Several people have asked me to share my .files link, which I've added in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.